Hello and welcome back to European of Zalas. My name is Metrius and welcome back to Ireland and New Ireland and Irish Canada. So, well, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. I guess it's one more war. I really hope it's just one more war and uh, we got the luckish iron. But in the meantime, well, let's do some different stuff. Let's take uh, uh, the Holland that's still on top. And I was trying to get somebody else. But who was it? Who was it? It wasn't Hydrons. I'm a bit lost. Who are you? Oh, yes, that's the one. Iraqis. So, let's send our troops to them and let's start this episode with a war. It's never bad to start with war. War is good. Especially as it gives you an achievement. So let's see, in the last episode we had a little bit money problem, we had a debt, so in the first time in this whole let's play we're going to use our Palpin influence, because we kinda need it. There's some stuff you can do where you can lower your uh, annual interest and we get 10% more tax, so well let's do those two. Because we have wasted those points, well, way too long. We're still a bit behind on tech, but we're slowly catching up. And, well, that's just going to take a little bit of time. Well, iron is always a, big, a bit of a backbone. We should have conquered more of Europe and that way, well, that would have been a different thing. Alright, let's bring some troops in position. Let's do our fabrication of our claim because else we cannot attack the Dutch guys. Well, this is the last bastion of the Dutch, the Hollanders. My home, yes, I'm going to destroy it. Right. Which place are we going to take? Because I see three provinces, so and I can fabricate a claim on the four, so that something that's not right. Which one is the last one? Oh well, well we're going to fabricate on the first one the Tamrekuk or something like that. And, uh, well, let's get us some more points from the estate, so we get some more technology. We don't care that they don't like us at the moment. We need those technology points and we need them hard. Alright, army slowly getting in position. And thank you, Spain. Spain is taking away our debts, so that's a good thing. That's a pretty good thing. As a great power, you can do that if you got a lot of money. You can take away other countries' debt, and that way they like you. So let's declare the war. Let's take them down as fast as possible. 10k should be pretty easy as as you can see that's going quite fast all right we got a new technology that's done done still got some rebellion here he should take care of that but he isn't that's kind kind of annoying Right, so we won our first war, but are we first going to take the castle or are we going to move forward and attack them because they are, <laughs> I, yeah, when we were first going to take the castle. 
<laughs> we can call in Spain for this war. Well, we're definitely not going to do it because we are going to need you guys. Alright, another kind of uh, trade good that, well, we can tax it or we can use the points. It's not that much point. I would expect more because 5% uh, is a lot of money. But, well, ooh, our friend buddy's coming in to help as well. All right, our buddies are our vessels, so they're kind of our slave. All right, this war is going to go pretty quick now. At least I hope so, because I want to do another one before we start with the big one. All right, we got almost whole Holland, but well, there's still one country left. Let's see, sue for peace. I want to know where the last one is. Last one is Guadalupe. Ah, all right. So they took one little spot before they lost everything in Europe and the Caribbean. Well, Portugal will take that pretty soon. I want this and all your money. And England, I don't care what you think. All right, now let's see what can we make. Can, there's a lot of things, but... Well, let's first do the new soldiers, new type, because we leveled up in technology. We get new type soldiers, can we get another advisor that would be nice to get up more points all right can we start a good war we took holland so we don't need that guy fabricating claims and iris canada has become quite strong all right get our troops back in position because we kind of need it, them to the south uh, because England or Great Britain has quite a large area there uh, but with the help from Spain we should be able to do that should be able to beat them let's first take down some rebels can we do the university thing no Kind of funny, and if you see below the Irish Canada, you, uh, French called the land f not Florida but fluoride. And uh, could you imagine if French have taken uh, Florida and uh, named it fluoride? <laughs> All right, wait for the troops to come in. Take down some more rebels. Because those are the things we cannot use during a war. One rebel down, one to go. Let's first do a war on the hierarchies and their buddies. That should make New Ireland a lot stronger and that way 
way more capable of taking on the French or the English colonials. Now we got a lot of alliances. Who do we want to... Who are you and... Do we want to fight you? So let's check out your alliances. You got one. Because if we... Uh, co liberated them in a war, they uh, can call in their allies as well. And sometimes that's good because if you if they do, we can take their land for a lot less uh, points. But if they got some good allies, it's sometimes wiser not to do that. And we now need to figure out who is friends with who, and that's kind of. A look game, find all the countries, check all their lands, check all their alliances, their guarantees and all that kind of stuff. Alright, I guess we got the information. We're going to uh, put one extra guy in there that's going to be a quick war let's try and do this war quick and dirty move our troops we should lower the speed maybe a little bit finding a war at speed 5 is kind of stupid yeah it, it's a beginner mistake. Wanted to play at five is is not a way to go. The reason I didn't do the rebels in the south uh, because they might even attack, and as you can see, they do. They most of the times do. So. Well, our attacking nation is attacking our rebels and clearing them out for us at the cost of their manpower. They do take New Ireland quite fast. That's not a good thing. Alright, we got all of the Arakish. If I even pronounce that right, I don't know, but if I do, put it in the comment down below. And uh, if I don't, well, give me some tips and tricks how to pronounce those names. Alright, we need to take down their last army. Check who we are in war with. Try to take some guys out. Uh, I don't want to take the Irishies out at the beginning of the war because then that means the end of the war. But I do want to take out the other friends because, well, can every small country even though it has one uh, province can be up to 6000 troops and well 6000 troops can be a pain in the ass come on take the land come on come on Yes, thank you. Alright, let's take back that. Ooh, good news. Truth with the English, the Great Britain has ended. But we need to finish this war, and after that one, we are going to have some fun with the English, the Great Britons. I wonder how they called themselves in that age. Were they English or were they Great Britons? 
Right, take those. No, man, I want to take down your 7k. Right, few more countries. 99% we should try and get some guys out I want that land yeah, they are being given to our allies that's well we have to do that we do get the money though all right next one can we kick you out of the war makes it a bit, e bit easier All your money. Hmm. It's not how I want it. Hunting the last army, it's just a 1%, but well, it's an important 1%. And then we can take what we want. All the money. Why can we not take that land? Why, why, why? Oh, uh, now we know because I took the land and it needs to be, I guess, New Ireland. Yes, that's it. New Ireland needs to have that land else. We, uh, <laughs> we cannot court it because it's way too far from our mainland. All right. Same thing, and now we want those provinces. And that's it, I think. Yes, checking everything. Yeah, and that's another war done. And New Ireland got a little bit bigger. Was hoping for a little bit more land, but oh well. You cannot have everything. Getting the troops in position. Now we are going to have some good war fun. Great Britain. And Great Britain is in, at war. That's also a good thing. Who are they at war with? Hmm. I hope they have the troops all the way over there because that could be a lot of fun. Right, we're going to try and get also Spain in this war. That would be nice. Let's see, declare war. No Spain, but oh well. We should be able to do this. Or should we wait? Should be a long war for Spain. Where are you at war? Let's see, Fulo. Who is Fulo? Ah. Right, so Spain is fighting in the African War. Hmm. Are we going to wait or not? 
kind of tricky question because Spain is one big country and especially their uh, sport in the southern America and middle America we can take the North America but the other areas are kind of hard to reach for us especially because we don't have that big of a navy How's this war going anyway? Hmm. Tricky question, are we going to wait or not? And that is the question, what are we going to do in the meantime? We are not going to be able to tech up pretty soon, we don't have 1200 ducats. So that's going to be out of the question. Although getting money from the bank is a good thing. But, well, I guess we're still far behind. <laughs> well, yeah, there's not much we can do. How is Spain doing at the war? They got like 70,000 troops over there, so that shouldn't be a problem. But they should just kill the big stacks and now they're kind of removing all the taken territory and not taking any territory by themselves. Although they do win a few battles like that one with 25,000 troops. But if they went for the hunt and take down one of the uh, Fudo in the south, uh, it, that would have been way easier. I guess we are going to get our generals in order in the meantime. We got some good ones. That's good. Definitely good. Troops over there. Also no general. We need to hire one, mm, send me one, send me good one, uh, also to stars. And let's take, do you, does the army in America still have a general? Check on that. I guess we are just going for it. Uh, Spain will join up later and uh, we'll have some fun. Who is the guy? That's a small country. I guess the rest will join in. Let's uh, find a province to take. Which one shall we take? Let's do Hampshire. And let's. Uh, Start the carpet sheets. Uh, I'm splitting up my troops, uh, moving the main stack to Hampshire, uh, making sure uh, that's done. Moving our main troops to Kent first and then splitting them up as well. And I guess then we need to go to America because we need to take a lot of land there as well. We don't know where the main middle American army is, but... So I'm not going to carpet sheets there. Alright, come on, take, take to land.
Still got a small fleet. We might even be able to take that one. Tricky one, but well, maybe we'll do that for some more score. All right. Take a look back to America. Still going right, and we got our first provinces. Let's move our armies on. And let's siege, siege, siege. And there's the first um, English Middle American army. And uh, need to unpause, else we don't have a battle. But somehow we beaten them quite easy. I guess it's because of the general. And our colonial army is immediately going for the capital and uh, province. That's not a bad thing. And is he carpeting? It looks like it. Never seen an AI do that. Oh, yes, no. It's French army. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we take in. Oh no, we had some truce expires. I thought we took a lot of countries. <laughs> Provinces, to be correct. We're still waiting for Kent. Big castle over there. And I hope we can take all the Great Britain's provinces in England because, well, it's you're kind of at a maximum. You can never take a whole country at once unless it has the minimal amount of provinces. And because they got a lot of them in uh, in America, we're going to have some problems. Oh, what's this? Denmark? Why? I'm I'm gonna have to deny that because. Going into war with uh, with Portugal and that kind of stuff, it is not a good thing. All right, let's see what can we take. We're at eighty-two, so we need a war score of eighty-two. We're at thirty-eight now. We need to take a lot of Eng English American land to even achieve that I wonder where the rest of their army is because they got a lot of colonial army every colony should have around 10,000 troops can we get our buddies in no they're still in they're still in war Let's take down some of the last troops. Yeah, you join in as well. I'll love killing you. As you can see, our colonial army is pretty big now. 26,000 troops. That's not bad for an Irish nation. An Irish colonial nation. Let's hunt them down and... At least tech wipe some of the English troops. Looks like they dropped some troops uh, by or they're running away. I guess they're running away. Hmm. Interesting. Tr no, they're staying or kind of strange. But I don't mind. I don't mind. We kind of need to find the main English army that's left. Not many, because they got the colonial ships here. At the Irish coast. Pity they didn't drop any troops. That would have been fun. Let's see. We should be able to take them. Let's put on an admiral and get some war score as I was saying before if we fight those ships we might even capture but they just lost two ships uh, or one ship 
yeah, one ship. And we didn't take one. All right, let's repair. Oh, no, 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 you know, repair ships. And take the last, and then we need to go to British Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, it's a Dutch song. Uh, just popped in my head. Really, really wrong music. But if you check on uh, Mexico Dutch song, you should get it on YouTube. All right, we got some problems with backyard. Uh, the the Mexican English army dropped and is taking our land. So we need to pull back and take care of that. First try and take down a few of the armies in the south and then let's move up. Mm, all right. What's this? 32,000 rebels. All right, we need to bring our army back together for this one and then we need to fix that. All right, bring the army in the right position. And another refold, that's not good. I haven't really taken notes to any rebel factions. Somehow they keep popping up. I guess it's not my rebel faction because of my colonial nation's rebel factions. Let's first finish the big one. 32,000 troops. All right, one, two, and all move in. All right, can we call in Spain already? He is at peace. Yes, thank you. Why not? So, done. All right, now we should have some fun going on. Ooh. Can we handle that battle? Well, there's nothing really we can do. No, we lost. Was to be expected. Was a little bit stronger than I was. Those colonial armies look quite a pain in the butt because they got a lot of small troops. Small armies is popping up everywhere. We got rebels going on everywhere. We kind of not care because the rebels will be English problem but we do need to take care of some problems some our armies we're only at 52 uh, port limit or a, a victory score so we're not even close to the 82 we need to take all the cores. And it might even be so that we need another war for this one. I'd really rather not do that, but well, if it's not possible, it's not possible. I don't need to lose more than I need to uh, gain. Uh, 
Hunting an army, let's take him down. Let's take a look at how Spain is doing. Uh, where is Spain's army? One big army over there, but... Ooh, there's something happening over there. Hmm. Not really a lot happening yet. So we kind of need to keep it all together in Northern America, Canada. And let's hope Spain is keeping up his bargain. Taking down some rebels. Come on, join me in. Thank you. Come on. Yes. Alright, rebels gone. I guess somehow they reconquered Kent. That explains the low war score because I was expecting a little bit more. Taking those areas again. Let's hope that's going to tick in our favorite. A lot of rebels are spawning in the English area. Don't like it, don't like it at all. Question is, can we handle it? All right, we took back the land and immediately need to fight rebels, but we're not getting the war score we need. That's kind of the big problem. I guess we do slowly need to so for peace and take as much land as we can and uh, maybe get one of our big armies to the American side for the next war, the last war. I really, really don't want to, but well, I cannot take Kent. Now I guess this is going to be, Kent is going to be the last British stronghold on the Isles. And uh, we're going to fight another war and send a lot of troops to, to I guess, uh, Spanish America. Can we do anything here to make Spain happy? No. What do you want, Spain? What is it you want? Is there anything we can do to make you happy? No, no, okay. Well, sending the peace offer and I guess and this has been a pretty long episode. I guess in the next episode we're going to get some stuff straightened up and i hope you guys all enjoyed this episode i surely did making it even though it was quite long and well we'll see what england is going to do in the next episode thank you for watching